Michigan Out of Doors Online is brought to you in part by Mr. Muskie Charters, offering full-service guided fishing trips for walleye, muskie, bass, and sturgeon on Lake St. Clair and the Detroit and St. Clair Rivers. Booking information is online at mrmuskycharters.com. By Tri-County Logging, experienced in sustainable forestry practices, Tri-County Logging can help you manage your property by keeping your woods healthy and generate income. Serving southern and mid-Michigan for nearly 50 years, tricountylogging.com. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Hi everyone, welcome to Michigan Out of Doors. I'm Jenny Silik, and we've got an exciting show in store for you this week. I'll take you out on Saginaw Bay. We were out there last week for a beautiful day on the water with a seven-year-old who is obsessed with catching catfish, and that's exactly what we did. You won't want to miss that story. And Jimmy's got another fishing adventure in store for us this week. Well, that's right, Jenny. We do have another story on this week's show. And just last week, the same day that you were on Saginaw Bay chasing catfish, I was a little further south on the Detroit River doing a little walleye fishing. Still lots of good walleye fishing to be had in that river. We're going to show you a cool technique on how you can target those this time of the year. We do have a short show this week because our PBS stations are in pledge, but we are all brand new this week. Make sure you stay tuned. I'm Jimmy Gretzinger. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. From the first spring rains to the soft summer breeze, Dancing on the pine forest floor The autumn colors catch your eyes Here come the crystal winter skies It's Michigan, Michigan out of doors What a beautiful day in the woods Someday our children all will see This is their finest legacy The wonder and the love of Michigan As the wind comes whispering through the trees The sweet smell of nature's in the air Great Lakes to the quiet stream, shining like a sportsman's dream. It's a love of Michigan we all share. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by By Country Smokehouse, a sportsman's meat processor and Michigan destination since 1988. Offers a variety of homemade smoked meats and Michigan-made products in-store and online. The Country Smokehouse features an outdoor barbecue and bar. Details at countrysmokehouse.com. By Alta Equipment Company, providing sales, rentals, service, and parts because uptime matters. From earth moving to landscaping and light construction, Alta offers over 50 brands across seven Michigan locations to serve you. More information online or 844-GO, the number two, Alta. By Polar Craft Boats, offering riveted and welded boats for the outdoor enthusiast. Whether you're targeting fish or waterfowl, Polar Craft Boats have several models to choose from that keep you high and dry. For more information, polarcraft.com. By Angler Quest Pontoons. Angler Quest is a Michigan based company building boats designed for comfort and fishing functionality. For more information, anglerquestpontoons.com. Uh, game plan is to do bottom bouncing, Detroit River. Uh, fishing's been pretty good lately. Yeah. The run is not over, guys. So uh, <laughs> get out there and fish. Uh, Moe's bait shop was telling me that they're not having a lot of guys in there coming in uh, fishing. So let's huh. get out there and catch some fish. And if somebody's not familiar with bottom bouncing, how does that kind of work? So basically, we have a, uh, uh, a weighted sinker attached to a crawler harness and uh, we're just kind of bouncing that off the bottom as it says uh, dragging it along at about uh, 1.8 to 2.2 uh, miles per hour with the current going just fast enough to get that blade spinning on that crawler harness uh, with the crawler on it and um, just kind of dragging it through some hot spots some deep holes okay and uh, we've been doing pretty good lately I have fished with Eric and his buddy Chuck Allen before, and when he said the walleye fishing was still good in the river, I decided to head down and see for myself. Past couple days, we've been getting our limit uh, fairly quickly. Okay. 
hour or two, a couple hours, depending upon how many people we got on board. And they've been all nice fish, uh, 19 to 23 inches. So nice, healthy fish. It's been, it's been really good. Hmm. Let me grab that net by you, Jimmy. Okay. And not a huge one, but decent. Yeah. Perfect eater size. Yep. So this is probably the smaller size we've been getting. Probably about a 17-incher. Nice. So we're fishing uh, a six-rod system. So our back four rods, we have three ounce bottom bouncers and our front rods have four ounce bottom bouncers so that they'll drop down quicker and not tangle with the back rods. Okay. So we've got two rods off the back um, that are eight and a half foot. Our longest rods, which are about 10 foot, are in the middle and then our front rods are about seven foot. Okay. That keeps you fairly tangle free? Keeps us fairly tangle free. If you get a uh, sheephead or a catfish, they're going to cause chaos or a muskie and they're going to make a mess. Nice. But for the most part, if you stick in the walleyes, you'll be good with this system. The morning was starting off pretty good. And of course, I had to see what the hot color was on these crawler harnesses. That's the hot one, eh? Yeah, that's the hot color. And how long is your uh, leader and all that kind of stuff on something like this? My leader's about three feet. I tie them myself. Um, about a three foot leader. I'm using a number one or a two octopus hook. And uh, the best color is this uh, tiger pattern or this perch pattern. And then this one has this um, kind of like a chartreuse back. Okay. That's been really good lately. One new wrinkle in the river fishing down here this year is that you can't fish the Canadian side of the river. Well, if you're not a Canadian. So that has limited the Michigan folks to a lot smaller section of water. With using less of the river, dialing in your setup is even more important than usual. So what we got here is I hand tie these with a changeable clevis. So what you can do, say, you know, you're not happy with this blade color or what, instead of it just getting a whole new harness, you can pop this blade right off. It's a little difficult, but you can do it. Oh. And then you can go into your magic bag here put something different on like that and just pop it right on. So, wow. Where do you get those at? You... So they're just um, in a lot of tackle magazines or uh, okay. catalogs, I should say. And then, you know, pop that on. And... Instead of changing your whole setup. Right. You can't change the bead color, but yeah. you can change the blade color. color. <laughs> There's a little knack to it, but there you go. Pretty cool. Yep. And they can be pretty color dependent sometimes, I would imagine? Uh, I, I would say yes. I think what makes a big difference is uh, a UV finish. That UV finish really makes uh, a big difference in my jigs and in my blade colors. Hmm. And how many years have you been fishing out here? Uh, I've been doing a guiding service for about six, seven years. And uh, I've been fishing out here since I was a little kid. So it's longer than I'd rather say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready. All right. All right. Nice. Put him on the measuring stick. You're getting a solo right there, then. A little size difference, but active fish. Yeah. And they're biting pretty good. So we got into a little mess. I think we popped four on this drift. So. Oh, five. Five. <laughs> A little guy, I think. Netter there, right? <laughs> yeah. Multitasking at its finest. We did fish with the pack of boats most of the morning with limited success. Once we ran just a bit further south of the pack, we found a nice deeper trough that held quite a few more fish. We ran back up river and fished with the current, and just that small quarter mile stretch difference, well, it put us on more fish today. 
soon as it close. hit the bottom. Is that a cat, maybe? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Keeping them out. Oh, it's like a little shark. Jeez. All right, we got him. Oh, man, this thing's heavy. <laughs> Jeez. Look at the size of him. We did run into a handful of nice catfish today, and all of them were pretty big. But once we got our lines back in the water, we were able to keep on the walleye. We only had a couple more to fill our two-man limit. One more to go. Been a good day. You know, we wasted a little bit of time fishing with pack that, you know, we thought there was fish there, but just because there's a million boats there doesn't mean there is. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got back into our spot, got back in a rhythm, and we've been moving along ever since so Good and we got a fish right behind you jimmy uh -oh. oh oh yeah, yeah. beauty hey. just like we drew it up right just on cue <laughs> A lot of folks think the Detroit River walleye bite is only good in April and maybe a little bit in May, but don't miss out. These fish are still here, and if you can make it down, you won't be disappointed here in Michigan's Out of Doors. This next story was actually in the making last Christmas. My husband and I discovered that our seven-year-old nephew, Jack, is absolutely obsessed with catfish. That's all he wanted for Christmas was catfishing gear. So once we figured that out, we found a good friend of ours who was into the catfish, and we decided to surprise Jack with a trip. Well, right at the end of the Seawing River going out to the bay, at Saginaw Bay, there's a cut, or a little bay, I don't know the name of it for sure, but it's just around the corner, and that's where we'll just set up in there. We'll fish for 20 minutes, we don't hook up, but we'll move maybe a couple hundred yards, try to find a hole. We're fishing in five foot of water. Uh, just, all, the place we're at is just right out to Sea Wing River. As soon as you get to the first set of buoys, turn left, there's a bay there. Uh, it's a mile or so across it, and any place you can find a little weed pot, or if you can find some dirty water, that's where they'll be. And you know, that's that's all I do. We we bait up with uh, night crawlers. I'm using circle hooks and a slip sinker, about a two foot up from the the hook, and just let it set and have fun, eat snacks. <laughs> Seven-year-old Jack Noyes was out here today with good friend of the family, Adam Singer. Adam volunteered to bring Jack out and help him haul in some fish today. Jack loves fishing. Um, he's, he does it almost weekly during the, the summer. Um, just getting pumped up, letting him, you know, having him catch a big fish is something that you just can't, you know, you got to experience it. And he's definitely looking forward to it. The first place we stopped today didn't produce any catfish, so after 20 minutes, the guys pulled the anchor and lines and cruised around in this shallow bay looking for fish. They found a new spot that looked promising and set up, and it didn't take long for the bait to get hit. Jack was ready to go and grabbed the rod right away. Come on, Jack, set that hook. There you go. Got a fish on there? Keep reeling, buddy. Yeah. Oh, all right! I don't know what it is. I do. Hold on tight. I'll get the net. Okay. <laughs> How's it feel? Is it heavy? Oh, I think it got off. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> real, put the pole down oh. real, 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 real. Oh. Okay, don't pick it up. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> He's scared of you. Hey! <laughs> He's taking line. Right on tight. Come on, Jack. It's really hard. <laughs> huh? This is so hard. Did you need help? Real, 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 real. Go, go. He's coming towards the boat. He's coming. He's coming. He's got Here the he net. Oh, look at that one. Woo! Don't, don't, don't pick him out of water. Let me get the net. Yep. Real, real. There you go, Jack. Whoa! Pick him up, Jack. Pick him up this way. There you go! Look 
at that thing. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that one, Jack. Good. What type of catfish is that? It's all, they're all cat, channel catfish. Yeah. They got right on the sides there. That there's little barbs in there that can. They don't sting you, but they can. They're real sharp. I hope. I know that. Let's yeah. see. Look at that. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Keep holding him. Keep holding him. Yeah. Don't let go. What do you think? Really cool. All right. We were all pretty happy to get that first catfish in the live well. Captain Dave loves cooking them up, and Jack loves catching them. A perfect pair. Well, what would you think? Awesome. Yeah? He was fighting, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's fun. It, it, I don't know. It's relaxing. It's good for the kids to see the expression on their face. We got a good one today. <laughs> and uh, he's been doing a good job reeling them up, and we're, we're good there. Why do you like catching catfish? I like to eat them. <laughs> How do you yeah. make them? Well, we, I just make them in chunks, like golf ball sized chunks, and deep fry them, a little Old Bay with flour. In about six minutes in the deep fryer, and that's that's about it. There he goes. You saw the boat. You scared. Got him. Oh, he's going back around. Going, buddy. Going. There, you got him. I just like them so much since it they give a really big fight to catch. Uh, 24 inches. Cool. All right, you're going to hold him up. There you go, buddy. Hold him still for a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got him? <laughs> we we kind of just go slow and you can see some of the fish. And if we see some pot of fish and, and there's some structure which there's not much out here. Every once in a while you'll see a little weed bed or something. We'll anchor up off of that and then just throw out four, five, six. We got six lines in the water and uh, throw them all the way around the boat, just sit and wait. And that, that, that's what we're kind of looking for is uh, if we can see the fish and the, the structure, like some weed beds and may, maybe they're even making uh, beds. They might be the beds that we're, we can, can't tell for sure. Dave says the fish are here to spawn and typically hang out in this bay from Mother's Day to right around Father's Day. Young Jack told us the story of how he first came to love catching catfish. So the first time I ever saw a catfish, that was like, it was like my favorite fish. <laughs> and yeah. did you catch it? Yeah. Did it surprise you when you caught that one? Uh-huh. Okay. Were you fishing for catfish when you caught your very first one? Um, no, we were just fishing for anything. Okay. Cool. And also I like bullhead the same sense, so the same, just smaller. Mm -hmm. And how I got to go on a walleye fishing trip was from at a place called the Outdoor Mama. I won a fishing thing. Um, I got like the best points for it, and then that you could win a walleye fishing trip, and I won it. And is that when you caught a catfish? Yeah, I caught it on that when we were fishing for walleye. Oh, wow. And that's when I caught the walleye really big. Oh, nice. Yeah, also I caught some sheephead. Nice. And I caught a white bass, and then a bass. Wow, but your favorite is what? The catfish. <laughs> so you're having the best day ever, right? Well, Jack's day was shaping up nicely. Dave didn't even have the last fish unhooked yet, and Jack had another fish on the line. Dave says the fishing out here can change from week to week. Yeah, usually it's from Mother's Day. Mother Day to Father's Day is when uh, we've been out here. Two weeks ago, they never caught a fish. And we, we got seven a week ago. So it's just about the same today, and uh, maybe there will be another week before they're, they're really biting. And then it's fishing, too, if they bite or they don't. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job, indeed. 
Days like these are why we love working here at the TV show. Until this morning, Dave Kurzinski had never met Jack or Adam, but he was willing to take them out for a day of fishing and teach Jack all his tricks of the trade. To be a part of this memorable day where a new generation of fishermen is born is what it's all about. Special thanks to Dave for taking us out and to Jack for keeping our outdoor heritage going strong here in Michigan's Out of Doors. Thanks for joining us this week for Michigan Out of Doors. Make sure you stay tuned in upcoming weeks. We've got all sorts of summertime adventures headed your way. We'll be talking salmon, cisco, and even pheasants in upcoming weeks. If you'd like to see where we are and where we're headed next, you can always check us out online. Well, that's right, Jenny. Online, that's always a good way to kind of keep tabs on us. You can do that through our website. We have full episodes of the show there every week. And if you're ever on YouTube, you can actually subscribe to our channel. Get an email every time we post something new. And we should have a lot of new stuff over the next several weeks. We're going to be traveling all around the state of Michigan, doing some fishing, some archery events. So much happening in our great state. Get out and enjoy it. And if we don't see you in the woods or on the water, hopefully we'll see you right back here next week on your PBS station. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by... Do you dream of somewhere bigger than your backyard? You can get there with Greenstone. Whether you want to hunt, fish, hike, or just watch the sunset, we're ready to help you own your place in the great outdoors. To learn more, visit GreenstoneFCS.com. By Green Mark Equipment. Green Mark Equipment is a John Deere dealership network in southwest Michigan and northern Indiana. Green Mark provides sales and services to farmers, commercial businesses, large property owners, and homeowners. Information about pricing and products available can be found online at GreenMarkEquipment.com. Closed captioning provided by Marvo Mineral, makers of Lucky Buck, deer management products including minerals to supplement deer diets year-round to improve health and antler growth. When I want a far away, a dream stays with me night and day. It's the road that leads to my home state. I am a Michigan man. Changing seasons paint the scene like rainbow trout in a hidden stream. The white-tailed deer in the tall pine trees. I am a Michigan man. I am, I am a Michigan man. Ask where I'm from and I'll show you my hand. Lord above, I love this land, I am a Michigan man. From the Keweenaw down to St. Joe, Kalamazoo, east to Monroe, to St. Marie and back again, I am a Michigan man. I am, I am a Michigan man, ask where I'm from and I'll show you my hands. Lord above,